right, so the big moment has come. Um, it's all now dry inside. It was poured out with milkshake yesterday night. Um, I think I poured 0.7 liter into it um, to feel all the gaps and everything. So in theory now, this is completely watertight. So what I did, um, I used my usual little measurer and I filled up a bucket with nine liters. Plus I have two um, bottles uh, with one and a half liter twice. So that's another three liter and then this with another one and a half liter. So we have 13 and a half at the moment. If that goes into it, happy days. Um, we will see, let's do it. So I grabbed the bucket and hopefully I'm not going to pour it anywhere else. Okay, so nine, nine liter is in it. And now we have another one and a half liter. Well, that's definitely in it. Okay, then another. And my bench is still dry underneath, so <laughs> that's a good news. That's in it as well, so we have already 12 liters in it. And we have an inch left from the surface of the water up to the top and now it's getting close and now I reach the bottom of the ring it's point two left from 13 and a half so that's 13.3 yay happy days um, I was aiming for 10 11 liters which would have been absolutely fine for the driver to achieve the 0.7 QTC factor um, so with 13 and a half, our QTC will be a little bit lower than that. So F3 will be better. The speaker will, will play a bit lower. Um, yeah, overall, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. Fantastic. So all I have to do now is just to pull it out and then double check whether I have any leakage. Like, I have a little bit leakage there. A little drip, so I can see that. But this is the perfect test to make sure that your enclosure is, is airtight. Because now if any water comes out, it's not fully, fully airtight. So, yeah, there's a little bit of leak there. So I'm going to fill that up and maybe give it a bit, bit more milkshake inside. And that should fit it nicely. Other than that, there's no water coming out anywhere else. I mean, just leave it like this, filled up for an extra 20 minutes. And that will show, show me if there's any other leakage. All right, so now it's time to measure the other side enclosure. Um, it was pulled out with milkshake yesterday night and then, yeah, you know, it takes a couple of hours to be set, but you know, after 12 hours, it's, it's fully, fully dry. And now it's absolutely watertight. Not if, if plywood wasn't watertight, um, but now I'm going to also test not just how big the enclosure is and then I can at least have an idea about how different the size is compared uh, to the other side. But also, again, we can tell whether it's airtight as well. So, um, as the other side was 13.2 litres or 0.47 cubic foot, um, I have a rough idea what I can expect with this. And then I poured 9 litres into one of the buckets, 3 to the other, so that's 12. And then I have another one and a half there. So I have 13 and a half liters available right now. And then we will see how far we get. So let's do it with the big bucket. So this is nine. That easily goes in, okay. Let's check the other side. Other side, I'm talking shit. 
So there's the other three liters. That's in, and it hasn't reached the level of the mounting ring yet, so we are not that far from the other enclosure then. So let's see what we can get to. And I think that was the level we figured it up on the other side. So, whether you can see, um, there's a 0.6 litre left from the 13 and a half, so we have 12.9 litres. It's only 0.3 litres less than the other side. So yeah, I, I really cannot complain and there's not a single sign of water coming out anywhere. I had a slight leakage on the other one um, over there, but that was sorted. But this is cool. I just leave this one as well for a while and then I can be 100% sure that there's no leakage at all. So yeah, cool. Happy days.